hello guys how are you doing I'm driving to Niagara Falls so officially my birthday stops are all done now <laughs> Um, good morning, good afternoon. Here is 12 13 pm in Ontario. 12 13 pm. Um, quite much actually, in a little bit of traffic, there is a funeral procession going on. Uh, a couple of cars that are carrying uh, maybe the um, dead person or something that they are, they are heading to the funeral ground. So, there is a little bit of traffic in front of me. Um, so I'm currently driving at 30 kilometers, right, instead of like 70 kilometers. Um, anyway, um, thank you for sticking with me. Those of you um, who were there from the, the weekend for the birthday, uh, God bless you. So yesterday I did post a video um, about my skydiving experience. And some of you have watched it, so you know exactly what I <laughs> what I did there um, it's my first time skydiving so it was a new experience to me but as much as I enjoyed it there was a roller coaster <laughs> emotion that went through me eh? and I just like to just share some few things about that so for somebody who has never skydived have only sat in a plane and been flown by the pilot without coming out of it and for the first time to just think of going with a helicopter 13,000 feet in the air and for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes and then finally about thousand thousands of feet they just release me in the air like that on the parachute and the parachute doesn't just go off, right? It, 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 it takes it takes minutes and minutes before <laughs> we do all the somersaulting and all of that with my tandem uh, expert, right? And a videographer, a camera person who was also in the air on a different parachute and filming the whole experience is mind blowing, mind blowing. I just I just can't. Wow, humans. The things we can do, yeah? The things humans can do is incredible. There's no limit to what we can do. Um, I used to believe in the saying that the sky is a limit. But I'm actually <laughs> now at a point where I don't believe the sky is a limit. I believe that the sky is not a limit. It's actually our mindset. Our mindset is our limit. Our belief system is, is, is what limits that, right? Our belief system is our limit, actually. Because... Your level of thinking and your belief and your faith determines what you can do in life. Um, there are many of us with all kinds of phobias. Um, some have fear for high, high rise, um, anything high rising. Uh, apartments, some people will not live in it because they have fear. Um, some people will not climb a bridge because they have fear of heights. Um, some people just don't like seeing sharp objects. I have a friend who cannot stand seeing a knife. Uh, the pointed part of a knife he's just so scared of, of, of just seeing it the whole idea of seeing it we all have different kinds of phobias right um i have my own phobias too everybody has it phobia makes us human but the most important thing about phobia is that phobia which is fear right the opposite of fear is fate the opposite of 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 phobia or fear is fate when i was in the aircraft enjoying the ride and just enjoying the view watching the u.s the buffalo downtown enjoying the view of the niagara falls and the beautiful scenery i was in my comfort zone i was just sitting down and enjoying it little did i know that i was going to get to a point where my comfort zone was going to be stretched for me to now enter my discomfort zone which is when i was led out of the aircraft the, the gates of the aircraft in the air uh, it was something else. Look, when I came out, my tandem <laughs> expert, the lady Michelle, thanks so much to her. She's been doing this for 12 years. She loves it. 
uh, she was sharing her own experience with me how she even decided to become a jumper doing skydiving and helping people or well, you know um, look the moment she kicked me out right with her foot and then she kicked me and said hey man let's go and we jumped out Wow I can't find words to describe that experience I can't find words to describe it trust me a uh, at a point it felt as if my intestine was coming out <laughs> like it was it was my mind you know the mind is our human mind yeah our human mind is predisposed to fear our human mind is conditioned to be afraid the first thing that came into my mind right was fear i was afraid i was so afraid and so scared this is me hanging in the air and we were doing acrobatics and spinning and all kind of things in the air, right? And I was looking down and staring down and we were so far, I couldn't even see the buildings. I couldn't see anything. It was just a blue sky. And right away from there, like I was just thinking, oh my goodness, this is the end of my life. Am I gonna just fall down like some potatoes or some watermelons and splash like, you know, fear grabbed my mind immediately. Fear was the first thing that came out Took over my mind my entire mind was captured by fear the moment i got out and were thrown in, i was thrown into the air but i did something i quickly had to reorganize my mind and take over control or take control over my mind and i remember asking myself am i the first person to skydive and the answer is no good do you have an expert with you who is coaching you the answer is yes do you trust the expert do you have faith in the expert the answer is yes good am i alone no am i the only person doing this no have there been people who have done this yes is this thing i'm about to do is it new under the sun is it new under the sun and the answer is no you see ecclesiastes says something it says there is nothing new under the sun whatever i was doing was not new under the sun people have already done it all i had to do was to condition myself with trust and faith that first of all it is not new under the sun people have done it and they have done it and they succeeded it's not new number two that i had my anchor i had an expert i had somebody who was coaching me and he, she knew her job michelle knew her job she's done this for 12 good years she knew her job and she knows her job so I just had to place my trust and my faith in her and the fact that it is not new under the sun. That is why I captured it, faith over fear. Faith over fear. Why? Because, look, fear and faith wrestle all the time within us. Anytime we are about to do something new to us, our body is conditioned to quickly pick up fear. When I was about to buy my first house, I was afraid. When I was about to fly for the first time across Africa to North America, I was afraid. I was thinking I was going to die in, in, a, in a plane crash or something. For some reason, our body is conditioned for fear. We are all wired to be afraid. And it's normal. It's okay. But the most important thing is that how quickly do you rise up to take control by your, the space of your mind? I within a split seconds in the sky I had to condition myself some of you may have seen the other videos where I was looking so so afraid you could see it right it's it's real I was afraid I'm, I'm human I'm human I was afraid but the most important thing is that I took control over my mind and that made a whole lot of difference for me it is not just about skydiving it's about me stepping out of my comfort zone I'm used to walking on the floor on the street driving and being in charge of my space but for the first time i had to be a terrestrial person flying in the sky and figuring out what i could do in the sky um we all have our fears you have your fears i have mine but the question is would you entertain your fear and grow it from a tadpole to become a big 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 monster Will you nurture and grow your fear from being a small tadpole into a froggy and then into a big monster without attacking it? Or you will take on 
the fear and conquer it with faith. You either have fear or you have faith. It's okay to have fear, but we must decide. Many of us have not been able to take steps to do many things. You've not taken that step to learn how to drive because you are way more afraid than anything. It's okay. I was afraid learning how to drive. You've not been able to take that step and even enter a marriage because you are so afraid. You are so afraid of what and what and what will go wrong. It's called premonition. It's called premonition. Premonition is the fear and the mindset of danger that everything will go bad. That even though you haven't even started driving, you're already imagining the cars you're going to crash. You're already imagining the people who are going to knock you down. You're already imagining the, the, the wall you're going to what? It's, it's okay to think like that. It's okay. We all have it. Everybody has it. I remember when I was teaching my wife how to drive when she came to Canada. The fear. Oh my goodness. If you see videos of her when I was teaching her how to drive, she was so afraid like a baby. It's okay to be afraid. Even our babies, like everybody, we are all worried to be afraid. But the question is, will you rise above your fear to choose a mindset that tells you that you are more than capable of doing it? The scripture tells us in the Bible uh, that for he has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of love and of power and of sound mind. That's what my Bible tells me. That God has not given me the spirit of fear. What has he given me? Spirit of love, which conquers everything. The spirit of power, which gives me the strength and the confidence to take on the world and do things. And above all, he has also given me sound mind. You know what sound mind is? Positive mindset. Sound mind means you can do all things. Sound mind simply means a mind that is filled with positive vibes. That was a mind that ended made, made, made my whole experience a beautiful one yesterday. I love the skydiving experience. And I hope you pick a, tea, a thing or two from there. Some of you haven't even tried it, but you've already said to yourself you would dare not try it. Yes, the world is full of adventures. This world is a den of adventures. The bravest people are the ones who step out of your, their comfort zones. I hope you challenge yourself and step out of your comfort zone. I hope you step out and do something. When I was about to start my, my sessions and even record my first video, fear grabbed my mind. Is there anybody who is going to watch it? Is there anybody who is even going to watch my video? What are people going to think? Are they not going to insult me? Are they not going to say all kind of things about me? Fear grabbed my mind. But at the end of the day, I chose the spirit of power and I chose to love myself and I chose to say to myself that I have the mindset to get this done. And today, here we are. I hope you pick a thing from two or two from that. As much as we enjoy the fun of watching the video, there is a ton of lessons in there. The only thing that is limiting us today is our mindset. The only thing limiting us today is our belief set. The only, the only thing limiting us today is the way we choose to treat and dignify fear and faith. What are you entertaining today in your life? Is it fear or you're, you're having faith? Faith is your trust in something my trust when i was in the air and my faith was in michelle who was coaching me she was my tandem expert she done it all you see at that moment she was my trust when i'm driving my family their trust is in me their faith is in me because they think i'm a good driver but the biggest one of all is that my faith is in god who has told me i can do all things i can do all things through him, through him, I can do all things. I hope you pick a thing or two from this. This is Chuck Melonia. Thank you for being part of my birthday. And I hope I'm actually on my way to go drop my car. Um, today is the day that is scheduled, it, it was scheduled for um, the replacement of the door. Remember, my car, the door was crashed. I'm actually driving to Niagara Falls to go drop it at the body shop. They are going to keep it for about two, three days. So I'm actually using a different car. My wife is behind me. She's driving our SUV. And we're just going there to drop the car. And then two days or so from now, they're going to call us to tell us to uh, come and pick it up. Um, yeah. And I will bring you updates on that as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope to resume bringing you more live videos on educative and educational stuff and uh, other things as well. My birthday is over, we're gonna get to business and I'm gonna do my best to respond to most of your messages as well, starting from tomorrow. 
um, yeah, God bless you. This is Choco Millionaire. Remember, you don't need more money. You need more wisdom. Choose faith over fear because faith and fear cannot coexist. Light and darkness cannot coexist. Choose your battles and choose your mindset. God bless you. Bye-bye.